Margaret, you haven't even been seeing this boy for a year. How about a Cupid fountain that pees mimosa? <laughs> oh, the Schwarzbergs had that at the Briss. It was very unique. <sighs> I need some air. Oh, you know, that doesn't work. Give it here. <laughs> I don't understand. First you're upset because Michael and I want to move in together, and then you're upset because we want to get married? Excuse me. Now. Uh-huh. I'm a little bit nauseous. Do you have any soda crackers or anything? Well, I got some Captain Crunch in the glove compartment. Oh, honey, could you get some? Oh, listen, here, use this. I thought you said it didn't work. On the window, but it's perfect to pry open the glove compartment. <laughs> How about a caricaturist for the wedding? Oh, that's so tacky, Ma. Can we just stick with the Cupid peeing? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I don't see a box of Captain Crunch in here. Oh, no, they're not in a box. They're loose. <laughs> Here, take these. Now, I've had enough. I am the head of this household, and as such, I have a say in the future of my eldest daughter. This will not be rushed into. There will be no wedding. End of discussion. Oh, you are going to make such a beautiful bride. <laughs> this is a knockoff of the dress Melissa Rivers almost bought. <laughs> What are we gonna do about Daddy? He was so upset when Val dropped him off at the theater. Oh, sweetie, it's been my experience with your father that he just needs time to think about it, and then he changes his mind. Fathers are always devastated when their little girls get married. But your father was happy. I said little girls. <laughs> oh, Fran. Yeah? I remember the first time you brought Maggie in. <laughs> You were just the nanny, and I was working here behind the counter. Yeah. Now you're married, you got a whole family, and I work at a donut shop six blocks closer to the bus stop. Oh. <laughs> when you wish upon a star. It's so fancy. Everyone will look at me. So they'll think you're a beautiful girl. I, I don't know. I'm not good at this like you are. Honey, that's what I'm here for. What do you think? You turned 14 and boom, you've got the savoir-faire and sophistication of a woman of my years and experience? <laughs> Look, when I was 14, I'd go try it on. <laughs> Who knew this job would be so demanding? Please, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I got married before her. Oh. <laughs> Do you think it would take away from the bride if I wore this? <laughs>